Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 17.2 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. And in this system, it is the Earth and the Sun system. We need to find the kinetic energy for the Earth and the Sun system, right? So we should include two parts. The first part, the first part is the ro daily rotation motion. The second part is yearly revolution around the Sun. So first thing we can see, uh, the Earth is there, Sun is there, and for daily rotational motion, and we just need to consider the Earth, right? We know the Earth just do rotational motion around its axis. So in this part, we know the kinetic energy is one half I omega square. This is in, in our test book. And the I, momentum of erasure for a sphere. You can check your test book in this one, right? And the omega angular velocity is one revolution per day, right? One revolution per day. So we must convert the unit to radius per second. Now you can see all the quantities are given. Mass, radius, omega. Then you input this quantity inside. You can get the final answer there. The second part, we need to find kinetic energy for yearly revolution about the sun. So for us to do rotational motion around the sun, so for this system, we can consider, we consider the Earth, the sun is at the center. The Earth do the rotational motion. So the momentum of a ratio is m r squared. This r is the distance from the Earth to the sun. Do you agree? Yes. And now the revolution, now the angular velocity changes. It becomes one revolution per year, right? We still need to convert the unit to radius per second. Now we input the mass of Earth distance from the sun to the Earth. And omega inside, you get the final answer. Now you can see these two answers. Compare these two, two answers, very different, right? So we add the k daily and the k year together. We can just ignore this part. So finally, the total kinetic energy just very similar, very close to the kinetic energy for the revolution about the sun. Thank you.